Tennessee basketball has not seen success like this since Bruce Pearl was in charge of the program. Rick Barnes took over after his ouster from Texas in 2015, yet this may be his biggest test yet. Controversy struck campus. School leaders said the students pictured in this photo will most likely not be expelled, stating the photo is an expression of First Amendment rights. Notice the caption, we for racial equality boys, about to get this free college now that I'm black, let's go, hashtag Black Lives Matter. Some call it racism, Steve King calls it an average Tuesday, and Ralph Northam calls it a yearbook photo. The uploader wrote on Twitter, I thought long and hard about posting this, but it hit an emotional spot for me for people to think that I did not earn what was given to me because of my race. Those in blackface went on to DM the uploader. More on that in a moment. The school issued a statement. Earlier today, the university was made aware of a screen grab of a Snapchat photo that included four individuals we believe to be our students. Two of them were in blackface. The image is repulsive and the caption abhorrent. The racism displayed in this image does not represent the behavior we expect of students or our volunteer values. The university is determining how to handle this incident. In Knoxville, a home game against the Mississippi State Bulldogs basketball seemed to take a back seat. The student section, with around 40 to 50 students taking part, protested the school's softest Charmin response to racism at their university. The protesters dressed in black, sat behind Tennessee's basket, sat and raised their fist during the anthem, and then filed out of the game early in the second half, as seen right here, raised fists, filing out of Thompson Bowling Arena in disgust of the minimized punishment of the school. While in their seats, the protesting students reportedly shouted, no justice, no peace, no racist UT, University of Tennessee, Knoxville. What do we want expulsion? When do we want it now? One student who exercised their right to protest went on to say, it's important they hear us and they listen to us and they see us. By doing this tonight, we're showing that UT needs to listen to us and we're willing to get in front of the national cameras to say this needs to happen. Another said, I'm angry. I'm really mad that I feel my voice doesn't matter. The fact that I feel the voices of my LGBTQ brothers and sisters do not matter. I'm sick and tired of feeling like anything related to racism or homophobia or whatever. People get away with it. As for the students, the woman in the photo wrote an apology, then deleted her Twitter account. The college male wearing blackface wrote to the uploader, why are you doing this? Completely tone deaf is an understatement. An alleged high school student of said male wrote to the uploader, I had to attend high school with him and he had all always acted this way. I doubt his apology is sincere because he spent his high school career bullying my sister. Another wrote, I was harassed for my beliefs and more liberal views. Because of the harassment, I eventually dropped out. The student is no longer enrolled at the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. As for the head basketball coach, Rick Barnes, I call for him to come down and condemn these actions. I also call for he, along with head football coach, Jeremy Pruitt, to stand arm in arm side by side, and try and make the most out of a horrible situation that has not only affected the basketball team, that has not only affected the athletic department and all of its members, but also has affected an entire university. You know why? Because teachers have influence, but the ones being paid the most when they come out and condemn these said actions, it certainly says a lot, not only about the athletic department overriding some of the wrongs that have been done because as we know basketball teams and football teams bring in a majority of the revenue but as the two highest paid employees at the school it would say a lot about their leadership